Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and you're watching 60 Cycle Hum. In this video, I'm gonna explore the LFO Optical Tremolo by Mastro Valvola Effects. This is a tremolo pedal with 16 different waveforms, 16 of them. It's gonna take me all day to get through all these different waveforms, not to mention the fact that you can fine tweak uh, the range of each waveform with the symmetry knob here. You twist it left and it bunches it all to the left. You twist it right, it bunches the whole waveform to the right, giving you just endless possibilities, endless different rhythmic effects with this pedal. Uh, you also get some pretty standard tremolo controls like depth, speed, and volume. By the way, I've said in other videos, I'll say it here again, I will never buy a tremolo pedal again that doesn't have a volume control. You just need it. It's just a must have with the tremolo pedal. You also have a subdivision switch here that connects to your tap tempo. That's very convenient to have in a modern tremolo pedal. Uh, to select between the different waveforms, you've got a rotary knob that goes from one to eight and a bank switch that lets you get to the other eight waveforms. So let's not waste any more time. Here is my dry signal. And here is the LFO. That's on the sine wave setting, which is the fifth setting on the dial. Let's rewind a bit here and go all the way to the first setting, which is a ramp up option. The second setting is ramp down. It's very similar to ramp up. It just goes the other direction. Then of course, the square wave. The symmetry knob can do some cool stuff with the square wave. Turn it all the way to the left and the down part of the wave gets squished down to this, this tiny little sliver. It's just barely there. Turn it all the way to the right, and the up part of the wave gets reduced to a tiny little sliver, and you get this great big down part. All sorts of creative stuff you can do with those kinds of sounds. All right, number four is a triangle wave. We already covered five, the sine wave, probably the most standard tremolo wave there is. Number six is a sweep wave. It has a ramping bottom and a peaky top. And then the reverse of that, you have a lump wave with a sweeping top and a peaky bottom. I think that's one of my favorite settings on here. just feels so nice and warm. All right, so the last setting is a random levels setting. It's like a square wave tremolo that just happens at random levels, obviously. I mean, that's what it's called. <laughs> 
great for you looking for some kind of glitchy, randomized, uh, kind of almost robotic sort of sound. <laughs> Almost sounds like like it's flickering, like a flickering candle. All right, let's check out the second bank of waveforms now. That was eight of them. We're halfway through. All right, back to number one. This is on the B, -b, 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 -b bank. Uh, this is a ramp plus octave setting. Uh, really, what's going on here is that there's two triangle peaks: a lower peak and a higher peak. <laughs> The second bank really has some wild and weird waveforms uh, that are worth fully exploring with the symmetry knob. You can get all kinds of, you know, interesting rhythms. The fun, like, galloping effect there. Here is the quad ramp. is four sharp triangle waves followed by nothing. Lots more fun rhythmic sorts of things to explore on that setting. Uh, number three is the quad pulse. More the same, it's just a square wave instead of a triangle wave. On to setting number four here, the tri-step. That's right, your favorite dance move, the tri-step. If you can hear that, it's stepping up three times and down three times. But I can cheat this into being a ramp up and ramp down sort of effect with those steps in there. Next up is a sine plus octave. I think the octave means uh, one of the waves is half the size of the other wave. Number six is sine plus a third. We're getting a, a, a lot of lumps here. You're getting an initial low lump, then a lump that's three times that, another low, low lump, and then a dive that's three times. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. It's 
a nice gallopy feel to that one. Uh, number seven is sine plus a fourth. It keeps getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> And then the 16th setting on here, the random slopes. It's like the random steps, only it's more of a triangle sign sort of random tremolo. More glitchy fun on that setting for sure. Oh, you know what? I don't think the symmetry knob does anything on the random setting. Yeah, no effect. Something fun we can do is we can turn the depth all the way down on any of the, uh, the waveforms and use it just as a boost if you want. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude and nasty comments. You know the whole drill. Uh, follow the link down below to uh, check out all the information on the LFO here, watch other videos of it, uh, check out other pedals from Mastro Valvola, uh, support us on Patreon, do all, do all that normal YouTube stuff. You know what to do. Uh, stay tuned for a little noodly nonsense part that I'm gonna play out with. Later, guys.